Hi, welcome to the iBooks Author Tutorial Series. In this video, we're going to take a look at the first four tools that you can access in the middle of your iBooks Author window across the top. We'll take a look at the widgets tool in um, a later episode because there's lots you can do with widgets. Okay, so first up across the top is the option to insert a text box. Currently, I'm working on a blank page in my iBook, which is perfect for um, uh, in including your own text boxes and shapes and so on. Okay, so on a blank page, if I wanted to insert a text box, I could click on the tool button here, and it's going to automatically generate a text box in the middle of my page. And here, I can enter text. This is a text box. Okay. If you're uh, showing the format bar across the top, which uh, if you remember in the last episode, you can access by going to the view menu and showing the format bar, uh, you, you can edit this text, right? So I can make it bold, I can change the color, I can change the text style, um, I can do all kinds of things here. Okay, and because it's a box, I can also manipulate the box as well. I can click and move it around making sure that it's outlined as you see here and I can uh, change the size of the box by dragging these tiny white squares in or out okay, and then I can uh, place that box where I want it to be okay uh, there is more you can do with the text box via the inspector and we'll take a look at that in a future episode of this tutorial series Okay, the next option across the top middle here is the Shapes tool. So if I click on Shapes, it brings down um, a menu that includes a lot of different shape options. We can do lines and arrows, squares and rectangles, uh, circles, triangles, larger arrows, speech bubbles, and we can even design our own shape. Um, I'm going to stick with just a plain sharp cornered square here by clicking on it. And when you do so, it uh, inserts the box in the middle of the page here. Again, I can click to move it around. Just like with the text box, I can grab the white squares to make it bigger, make it any size and shape I want here. And if you double click inside a shape, you can also type into it. This is a shape and also a text box. And again, you could... Uh, change uh, the formatting of that text okay, by accessing the format toolbar. You'll notice that with the text highlighted I have access to some text editing tools and if I select the shape the format bar changes to allow me to make changes to the shape and now I can change how the shape looks on my my page. I can change the the fill color I can give it borders and frames by clicking on this option over here. So I could give my shape a frame or I could give it a fancy border and give that border a color or make that border a little thicker. Right? And uh, I can also I can give it a shadow. I can make it see-through by changing the opacity here. Okay? So lots of things you can do with shapes. There's even more settings via the inspector, which again we'll take a look at in a future episode. Okay, And the third option you have is to create a table. So if you have data or if you have a chart that you want to display in your book, you can create a table. And here a table is automatically generated and it does open the inspector for us automatically, but we'll take a look at that later. And uh, I can move, whoops, yeah, just that. I can uh, type into these cells here and uh, type in data that I have that I want my viewers to see. And then um, again, there's more options that you can uh, use to customize your table via the inspector, which we'll take a look at later. Okay, and along with that, that data chart, you can also include graphs. You can create charts. Okay, so if I click on the charts option, there's lots of different kinds of charts. There's two-dimensional charts, 
and three-dimensional charts. There's bar graphs and line graphs and pie charts and um, all different kinds of things, all different kinds of charts that you can use to display your data visually for your readers. So if I wanted to make a simple bar graph, okay, I can do that. And it's going to give me uh, um, the data editor where I can plug in the data and uh, the labels and I can even change the color and um, change the size of the graph. Right? So if I wanted to uh, sorry, it's kind of stuck on my table there, but I can move that around. I can make that bar graph bigger or smaller depending on how I want it to be seen on my page. Okay, so that's it for this episode of the iBooks Author Tutorial Series. Stay tuned for the next one.